Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Introduction to LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn about LibreOffice Draw, LibreOffice Draw Workspace, Various Toolbars, How to Create and Save a Document, How to Open and Close a New Document, How to Set up a Draw Page, Insert Basic Shapes in Draw, and how to set up autosave. LibreOffice Draw is a vector-based graphics software. It allows you to create a wide range of vector graphics. There are two major types of graphics. Vector-based graphics and bitmaps. Vector graphics can be created and edited using LibreOffice Draw. The other is the bitmap or the raster image. Popular bitmap formats are BMP, JPG, JPEG, PNG. Let us understand the difference between the two types by comparing the image formats. The picture on the left is a vector graphic. The one on the right is a bitmap. Notice what happens when the pictures are enlarged or zoomed in. The vector graphic is clear and the bitmap image becomes blurred. Lines and curves are used as mathematical formulae in vector-based graphics to store images. Therefore, when the images are resized, the picture quality is unaffected. A bitmap uses pixels or a series of very small dots of colors in a grid or a square. Can you see the small squares? As we enlarge the picture, these are the grids. The small dots make up the color in each grid. You may have noticed one other difference. Bitmaps are rectangular in shape. Vector graphics, however, can be in any shape. Now that we know about vector graphics, let us learn how to create them using Draw. LibreOffice Draw can run on any of the following operating systems. Microsoft Windows 8 or higher versions, GNU Linux OS, and Mac OS X. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. By default, the latest Ubuntu Linux OS has LibreOffice pre-installed in it. To install a specific version, refer to the LibreOffice installation series on this website. Let us open LibreOffice Draw. In Ubuntu Linux OS, click on Show Applications icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Draw. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Draw icon. In Windows OS, Click on the Start menu icon located at the bottom left corner. In the search bar, type Draw. From the displayed list, click on the LibreOffice Draw icon. This will open an empty page in the main Draw window. First, let us familiarize ourselves with the Draw workspace or the Draw window. We see the title bar, menu bar, and standard toolbar at the top. The drawing toolbar is on the left and the sidebar is on the right. The status bar is at the bottom. The sidebar has various icons such as properties, shapes, styles, gallery and navigator. We will learn how to use each section as the series progresses. The Pages panel on the left displays all the pages in the draw file. The space where we create the graphics is called a page. There are three tabs at the bottom in each page. They are Layout, Controls and Dimension Lines. The Layout layer is displayed by default. This is where we create most of our graphics. Let us now explore the various toolbars 
available in LibreOffice Draw. On the main menu, click on View menu and then select Toolbars. A list of available toolbars is displayed. There is a check mark to the left of certain toolbars. This means that particular toolbar is enabled and is visible in the draw window. The drawing toolbar has a check mark. That is why we can see the drawing toolbar on the left of the window. In the older versions of LibreOffice, you might see this at the bottom. Let us now uncheck the drawing toolbar by clicking on it. The drawing toolbar is no longer visible. Let's make it visible again. In a similar way, we can enable or disable other toolbars. We will now learn how to create a diagram of the water cycle as shown in this slide. We shall complete this diagram in stages. The basic level tutorials will demonstrate how to create different parts of this diagram. At the end of the basic level of the draw series, you can create a similar diagram by yourself. Let us begin to draw the basic shapes of water cycle diagram. First of all, we will set the page to landscape view. To do this, go to the sidebar on the right side and select the icon named properties. Click on the drop down next to format and select A4. A4 is the most common paper size used for printing. Next click on the drop down next to orientation and select landscape. Click on the cross mark at the top right corner of the sidebar to close it. Let us begin by drawing the sun. On the drawing toolbar click on the drop down of the icon named symbol. From the drop down select the sun icon. Now bring the cursor to the page. Hold and drag the left mouse button like this. A sun is drawn on the page. Now let us name our current draw file and save it. For that, click on the save icon on the standard toolbar. The save dialog box appears. It prompts us to enter the name of the file in the name field. I will type the name of the file as water-cycle. On the left side, I will select desktop as the file location to save my file. Notice that we have a file type dropdown at the bottom right corner. Click on the dropdown. It shows a list of file types or file extensions in which we can save our file. The default file type in LibreOffice Draw is odfdrawing.odg. ODF stands for Open Document Format, which is an open standard. Click on the Save button at the top right corner. The draw file with the file name and the extension is displayed in the title bar. Let us continue to draw the water cycle diagram. Next, we will draw a cloud next to the sun. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down besides the symbol icon. Select the cloud shape. On the drop page, place the cursor next to the sun. Hold the left mouse button and drag like this to draw a cloud. Next, we will draw a mountain. On the drawing toolbar, click on the drop down besides insert basic shapes icon. Select the shape named isosceles triangle. On the drop page, place the cursor approximately here in the workspace. Hold the left mouse button and drag like this to draw a mountain. Now we have inserted three shapes in our draw file. Press the Ctrl S keys together to save the changes. Remember to save your file every time you make a change. Alternatively, we can set a time interval to save the changes automatically. Go to the main menu, select Tools and then click on Options. The Options dialog box appears. On the left of the dialog box, click on the arrow sign next to Load Save. Then click on General. In the Save section, check the box Save Auto Recovery Information Every If Not Checked. 
then type 2 in the minutes box. This means that the file will get saved automatically every 2 minutes. You can set the auto save time according to your own preference. Now at the bottom right corner, click on the apply button first and then click on the ok button. Let us now close this file. To do so, go to the file menu in the main menu and click on the close option. Next we will learn how to open an existing document in LibreOffice Draw. Click on the open file menu option on the left of the LibreOffice interface. The file browser dialog box opens up. Go to the location where you have saved the file. I will go to my desktop. Now choose water-cycle.odg and then click on the open button. The file water-cycle.odg opens. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about LibreOffice Draw, LibreOffice Draw Workspace, Various Toolbars, How to Create and Save a New Document, How to Open and Close a New Document, How to Set up a Draw Page, Insert Basic Shapes in Draw, and how to set up auto save. As an assignment, open a new page in draw. Save it under the name mypractice.odg. Set the page orientation to portrait. Insert a cloud, a star and a circle. Change the page orientation to landscape. See how the placements of the figures change. Save and close the file. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. The Spoken Tutorial project will ensure an answer. You will have to register on this website to ask questions. The Spoken Tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. The script for this tutorial was written by Nikita Misil from IIT Bombay. And this is Madhuri Ganpati along with the Spoken Tutorial team signing off. Thank you for watching.